Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering plant adaptations. And remember, adaptations are characteristics of living things that help them survive in their environment. And there are both physical and behavioral adaptations. Physical adaptations are physical features are parts of the living thing that help them survive. And behavioral adaptations are actions, behaviors, or even instincts that help that living thing survive. So we'll go through some examples for three different plants here. And we'll start with a desert cactus. Desert cacti live in hot and dry environments. There are many different types of desert cacti, so they can differ but here are some common adaptations. There's very little rain and precipitation in a desert, so cacti need to adjust. In order to collect water quickly before it evaporates, shallow root systems that are very widespread are in place. That way, these desert cacti can collect as much water as quickly as possible. Now, desert cacti also have thick stems. This allows them to store water for future use. And these thick stems are covered in a thick waxy covering called the cuticle. This prevents the stored water from evaporating. Now let's take a look at the palm tree in the middle of your screen. Now just like the desert cacti, uh, there are many different types of palm trees. So here are some common adaptations, but they don't necessarily apply to all types of palm trees. And we'll take a look at the leaves first. And the leaves are shaped in a way that wind and rain can pass through them easily. One advantage of this is there are, there's less resistance during a tropical storm. So a palm tree can survive the wrath of a tropical storm. Now, palm trees also have tall trunks. This allows them to access sunlight above other plants. It gives them an advantage. Some palm trees also have the ability to grow very quickly. This would be a behavioral adaptation that gives palm trees a better chance of surviving within their environment. This quick growth will help the tree survive things like tropical storms or beating out their competition for sunlight. And lastly, we're going to take a look at water lilies. And again, just like the other plants, there are different types of water lilies with different types of adaptations. So first, water lilies have big leaves that float on the water's surface. These are called lily pads. These nice big and round leaves are able to collect plenty of sunlight. Now some water lilies have thorns on the underside of the lily pad. These are for protection from predators. So most of those were examples of physical adaptations. So I wanted to give a couple more behavioral examples before we end here. So first, sunflowers have the ability to face and follow the sun throughout the day. Other behavioral adaptations include vines climbing up trees to collect sunlight and plants instincts to grow towards the sun. So there you have it. There are some examples of plant adaptations. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.